Hey you guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to bring you along as I organize our linen closet. So we have a very small linen closet for our upstairs bathrooms and it houses our towels and some of our extra sheets and it's basically a disaster. So I've gotten some baskets and some other things together to help me get this closet a little more organized. So I've got lots of organizing motivation coming your way. If you are new here, welcome. Thanks for dropping by. If you would like some more motivation in your life for cleaning and for motherhood, then please subscribe to my channel and let's get this linen closet organized. Okay, so here is what I'm working with. As you can see, it's a very small closet and we have everything tossed in there. Um, it's at least sort of sorted by uh, like items, sheets and then beach towels and then like washcloths and regular towels and then all kinds of stuff just shoved at the bottom there. Um, so I am going to get some of these baskets. These are all baskets I got from Target, um, super cheap and affordable. So I got different sizes to um, fit the different size towels and I'm gonna be using those to get this closet organized. My game plan for tackling this closet is to just start at one shelf and go from one set of towels to another, trying to organize them. Um, I'm gonna put all washcloths in one basket. These here are our hand towels. So I'm gonna try to get all of the hand towels to fit in one basket. So I'm hoping this will work so that each type of towel has its own basket, which will hopefully make it easy to maintain and keep the organization of this closet. Now I'm moving on to the shelf with the beach towels and I'm gonna get all of those pulled down. And for these, I don't think I'll have room to fold them um, because of how bulky they are. So I'm gonna try rolling them up to get them to fit in the basket. And here you will also see my little helper and my buddy Olivia is joining me. She always loves being a helper and whenever I'm doing some cleaning and organizing, she likes to hop in. So sometimes for me, organizing a larger room or a closet can start to feel very overwhelming. And thankfully this project is one that is a little smaller and it's an easy one to do in a fairly short amount of time. And so if you're just needing somewhere to start in your house with decluttering and organizing, I definitely recommend a smaller project like this one. I am definitely guilty of starting a large decluttering project and halfway through just wanting to give up and feeling completely unmotivated, but a project this size is a perfect way to get started. So now we're gonna at least get these baskets put in the closet to make sure everything is fitting like we want it to, and then we'll get back into getting the rest of the stuff put into baskets and bins. So because of our family schedule, because my kids don't nap anymore, because they are in regular school and I'm working during the day, there really is just no other way to get cleaning done other than doing it when they are in the house and trying to do the cleaning and organizing around them. So I don't know if anybody else is in that similar phase. It can definitely be tricky and make it hard to get things done and accomplished, um, but we just squeeze it in wherever we can. And that's why a lot of times you will see my kids either in the background or me trying to clean around them or when they're wanting to joining in and actually helping me out with the cleaning and organizing. So here I am finishing up getting the bath towels folded and put into a basket and then I'm going to pull out everything from the bottom of this closet. So one of the things I got is called a magic bag. I've never used these. I know these have been around for a long time, but for some reason I've never used them. But it's one of those ones where you shove the stuff in the bag and then vacuum and suction out all the air so that it compresses really small. So this is what I'm planning to use for this massive pile of stuff that was at the bottom of the closet there. So we will see if this works like I'm hoping it will. So all of the stuff that I am putting into this bag is are quilts that like my grandmother had made or other things that have sentimental value that we want to keep but we don't use on a regular basis. Um, so that's why I'm gonna put these in here and then if I ever do wanna get them back out easily, I can. But with this linen closet being so small, I really wanna make sure the items that are in there are the stuff we use like on a daily or weekly basis. 
but I think it worked. So now this bad boy, I am gonna take and put probably like in our storage area, or we've got some other storage closets in the basement. I'll put it in there since this is not something we need on a regular basis. All right, time for the sheets. All right, so I have this bed that we've had around our house for a while, currently not being used for anything. So I'm hoping to get all of these folded and to fit in here. So let's see. As long as I'm able to feel, I won't lose the human in me. We just cannot let the light in. We just cannot let the dark win. The world was spill for all of us. Don't turn your back to your brothers. We just cannot let the hate you. We just cannot let the blood spill. The world was spill. what I'm going to do. I have another tote here that I have for some extra storage that's going to go at the bottom of the closet back here. So I think I'm going to put a few of the old sheets and pillowcases in here. I could, I think, get it to all fit in here, but it's going to be really crammed and I don't want it to be that way. So I think I'm going to take a few of these out, put those and a little bit of these pillowcases in here and give us a little more room in this so when we're putting stuff back in here, it's not overflowing. I try to reach you, but you close your mind. So much to say, the words are hard to find. You're running out of stamina. I see it in your eyes. Let me be a light. We could reignite like fireflies. <laughs> all right the last thing i'm going to try to do is take this pillow top mattress topper and try to shove it in here i'm going to hope i can get it in there so let's see <laughs> All right, so here is the finished product. I cannot believe I was actually able to get all of the towels to fit inside the baskets. So I'm really happy with how it turned out. So up here's all of our extra sheets and pillowcases. Right here is beach towels. This is hand towels. Those are what we call our like step out towels. And then our regular shower bath towels, washcloths, and the rest of our extra linens. 
All right, well, that wraps up today's video. I hope that provided you with the motivation you needed to get your stuff done or organized, and I will see you in my next video.